Hey guys, DMS3TV here. Today I have the Own S6, which is one of the first balanced amps I've ever actually got my hands on. So, what makes this thing special and is it really any good? Well, first off, this is a $600 amp. Inside, it is both a uh, balanced DAC and balanced amplifier. The DAC chip is an AK4495S. Now, what does that mean? This means that it supports 32-bit, uh, 384K native DSD, and it's not just an amp. It's also, you know, a pre. You could use it with your speakers. It has uh, on the back uh, USB, optical, and coax in, as well as AES, XLR, and RCA out to your speakers, you know, whatever else you want to control in your room off this and just use it as DAC or pass through whatever. Now as a headphone amp, the balanced output, which is right here, your 4-pin XLR, produces 246 milliwatts at 300 ohms versus the single-ended out right here, which produces 72 milliwatts at 300 ohms. Not nearly as powerful. And what does that mean? That means that this is more powerful than little amps like, you know, Fulla and uh, Magni and things like that, but it is not as powerful as, you know, an amp like the NFB11, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. There are some things that separate this from that, and power isn't necessarily your main concern. So what should be. If you're looking at an amp like this, you're not really looking at it for the less powerful single ended out. What you're really looking for is the balance connector, which is pretty much the entire reason. You're, I mean, if you're, if you're looking for an S6, you're looking for a balanced amp. Anyway, moving on, one of the first things that caught my attention is that this amp has a display on the front. Now, is there any particular use for that? I mean, Yes and no. Uh, the bright side is, is that you can control everything through this one knob right here. Uh, double clicking it makes you change inputs, press and hold it, and you can put it in standby without having to go and flip the switch on the back. Uh, so I mean that's kind of useful. You also get kind of an idea of what your volume is gauged at every single time. There's actually numbers on there that say, you know, uh, 45, 46, 47 as you turn the volume knob up. And this knob actually is not directly connected to a uh, attenuator. Um, you can just spin it and spin it and spin it and spin it for days and while I found there's actually a whole lot of Points of attenuation on here. So if you really want to get this thing up to volume You can just turn and turn and turn and turn and turn and turn and about right there Is where I'd have my HD 650s at which is about 59, but obviously that's gonna vary from headphone to headphone um, But it does leave a nice clean look on the front of the amp which I will say I quite enjoy and speaking of that uh, the entire amp is actually made out of metal and I'll not being an exception to that, I don't believe. It feels like metal, at least. So it feels like it's well-built. It's a decent-sized amp. It's, I mean, it's not like super heavy or anything like that, but not like you're gonna be carting one of these around your bag. Really, what we care about is the sound. You know, can, you, can it power your headphones and does it sound good? And of course, those answers are going to vary depending on what you're using. Venture Electronics, the people who make the VE Monks, actually sent me this cable right here, this balance connector, to plug into my HD650 so I can test this amp. Now they also sent me some balance Zens, which I'm going to be talking about, which are just like, that is a whole nother story. So really the only headphones I've been able to try balance though, were my HD650s, everything else I had to try on the single ended out, which I will say side by side, I would try my HD650 on both. And you can hear a very clear difference between the single ended out on this and the balanced out. Now that being said, they are providing very different levels of power output, so it could also be that. But side by side with the NFB11, with my HD650s plugged into this balanced output, I did prefer the sound of the own. Now, I will say though, this isn't gonna power all headphones. Things like Argon, are not going to be able to run off of this single ended out. And those headphones actually, I, not that I know of, I don't believe can have any uh, balanced options. Other things like that, and some planars you may have issues with as well. But it really just depends on what you're using. Now, I will say, com I'm, I am comparing to NFB11 a lot, but NFB11 is a good benchmark. It's reasonably powerful, reasonably affordable. Uh, a single ended out amp that has a good DAC in it. Actually, another 32 bit 384K DAC. But if you consider NFB11 to be a neutral, DAC amp, which it is, uh, for the most part at least, um, I would consider this to be slightly darker and slightly warmer. Now, not exaggerated like the Asgard or something like that, but it is toned down just a little bit, and I think that it complements the HD650s, and I think that's part of what made them sound so good with this amp. That being said, is this amp worth the roughly $600 that it costs? And I think that if you're looking for something really solid with HD650s, that answer could definitely be a yes. 
It also sounded great with the Zins. So I think that really comes down to what you're using and what you're looking for. I haven't heard a ton of balanced amps, so I can't speak specifically as to whether or not this outperforms other uh, balanced amplifiers in a similar price range, but I can say that I was extremely pleased with it and I am sad to see it go. So I will also say that between using this and using NFB11 to run a signal out to my speakers, I much prefer the XLR signal coming out of this in the back to the XLR inputs on my monitors versus NFB11's uh, RCA outs. But that's also comparing XLR to RCA. So anyway, with that being said, guys, this has been the ON S6. I greatly appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm still doing a giveaway, so make sure you guys are subscribed. I know I was said I was going to do a 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and it's a week later, I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. So, I mean, we're still doing it. It's still the 1,000 sub giveaway. But make sure you're subscribed to have a chance to win one of two headphone stands by CP Custom Woodworking. And until next time, guys, peace. <laughs>